हेलो गाइस होप यू आर डूइंग गुड दिस इज ए शारी योर होस्ट टुडे सेशन आई विल कवर हाउ कैन वी एक्सटेंड लॉजिकल वॉल्यूम साइज इफ सपोज इन ए कंडीशन वी आर हैविंग सपोज 50 जीबी ऑफ हार्ड डिस्क इन आवर वर्चुअल इन आवर एनी सेंटोस ऑन इट हेड लाइन एक्सेल अब एंड एनी सिनेरियो वी आर वी वांट टू इंक्रीज द डिस्क साइज द सो this uh, i will give you complete overview how to complete guidance how can you create logical volume manager dex into centos or red hat linux so guys if you are new in my video click like please like and share and subscribe guys first we want to check uh, first we want to check we are uh, which hard uh, which drive we are getting So, drive. Uh, so, how many hard disks we are getting? You can say how many hard disks we are getting. How many uh, drive? We are, how many disks we are getting? So, disk getting command is how can we check the disk? So, there is two kind of command. Uh, two type of command you can check. Uh, let's say L S D L K hyphen L. It will display the complete the detail about how many uh, how many disks we are having. So we are having SPA one disk. So you can also check LSB LK without half an L. So once we are you are using without L list, you it will be display as a tree format. Why? Why? Who is the parent of uh, SDA one, SDA two, and SDA one? The parent is SDA A one, where we SDA one is holding fifty GB hard disk. 50 GB of hard disk disk size. So I wanted to add new hard disk into uh, into this virtual machine hypervisor. So guys, first you need yes, first you need to go to your virtual machine and click over here and just re you need to right click or select your virtual machine and right click and go to setting. Once you will jump on the setting, there will be option add. You need to press on add. Once you will press on, you can search on your hardware wizard. There will be option hard disk. You need to press next. Once you will press next, there will be default option SCSI recommended. So if we are going to add, so I am going to add new hard disk partition, new hard disk partition to my virtual machine uh, provider. So just click on next. Once you will click on next, there will be option. Multiple option disk create. Yes, I am going to create. We are no, we don't have any existing disk, so I will going to use my virtual disk. So just click on next. How many you need to say define the define the size of this virtual hard disk? So I will click on twenty GB. Okay, leave as it default. Or here you need to select store virtual disk. Think yes, I want to store it. I don't want to uh, split my hard disk. So just click on next. Once you will click on next, there will be option disk file. Is specified disk or disk file? Just click on finish. Once you will finish, just click on OK. Click on OK. Once you will click on OK, you need to uh, go to your SSH portal where you have connected uh, SSH where you have connected your CentOS server or it had Linux. So guys, uh, once we have added hard disk uh, one uh, hard disk to my virtual machine uh, hypervisor, we first we are no will not get this hard disk. So if you want to, you can check over here LSB LK half an L. We are not or uh, LSB LK. Yeah, you can check. We are not getting hard disk. So in this scenario, we need to scan the hard disk. The scan process is you just need to press E go type E go double colon one dash one dash. I using there we we will use three dash one dash for scanning channel. Second is for SCI target hard disk target, and third uh, third dash is used for scan logical unit number. 
so just click is uh, again one type one dash and again one dash and you need to just close the double quotation and space then greater than once you will press greater than you need to type s y s synchronize space without space and space s y s backslash c l a s s class then s c s i underscore host and then which host because i am i already having host one so i will go for host two host two then scan let's try to scan once so if we are not if we didn't get any error it means it means we have, we have done the scanning process successfully so guys uh, now we need to jump to the to uh, to assign this a uh, new hard disk so uh, we will uh, we will use fdx hyphen fdx command fdx is used for create delete modify copy and move partitions so i will use sudo i am you also i am also is a root user i don't need but i will can use no issues sudo sudo fdx fdx space and dev which we are uh, dev which we will use device this is a uh, the directory where directory path where all the directory is stored you can say it where all the directory is live in the in dev command in centos or linux so just a uh, you need to type dev 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 then which sda we are getting sta so we will need to scan on sdb sdb just press and then press so guys if we are getting uh, cannot open dev sdb so just need to recheck fdi okay you need to type fdi fdi sk hyphen l we need to reconfirm which hard disk we are getting we are not getting any hard disk now it means it's not scan properly so once we have scan you are getting this two drive which i have added in two hard disk external hard disk which i have added so we are getting stb and stbc which i have added so now you need to assign this disk to your to current uh, current host means to so you want to extend this hard disk to your virtual machine of current running virtual machine so the process is you need to type fdi sk once you will type fdx fdx dev as i told you dev is a directory path then i will going to use stb stb just press enter once you will press enter there will be option given the nose contain recognize partition so i will going to i will going to use the partition you so i will use n n4 i will press n1 you are going to create a new partition once i will press n there will be a option primary or extend i will use a primary so i need to press p once i will press p and press enter there will be option partition number so i need to select partition number 1 then press again enter once i will press enter then it's default well just press enter again once you will press enter the last sector is this so again you need to press it once you will press enter there will be this partition of one type linux is size of 20 gb set so it's set to the 20 gb 
so I need to again press P once I will press P there will be option device boot there you can check over here which SDB we are before we are getting SDB so I now I am getting SDB one so the size of this is 20 GB now the current uh, now current system type is Linux so I want to convert into LVM logical volume manager so you need to press once you need to press T once you will press T there will be option select partition type and if I if if you are new, not aware about the which kind of partition I wanted to select and what kind what is the code for logical volume manager partition type so you need to press L capital L once you will press there will be the, the description about the partition so as you can check over here there is a 8 E a Linux LVM so I need to type here 8 E once I will type 8 E you need to press enter so the Linux partition is changed to logical volume partition. Now I want to press W, write and set and write. So I will use W to write and, and exit. Just press W and you will write and exit it. Exit it from the partition table. So you need to check L S B L K once you will type you can get here you can get here the partition sdb when you are getting so guys this is the process to extend to increase the logical volume size in linux so guys if uh, you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe guys if you are having any kind of doubt any kind of confusion about how why do we require logical volume manager uh, because we can add because without scan first process which what process i have a uh, i have used i have used it to add the hard disk then i need to scan the hard disk then I need to check the hard disk is read readable or no. Then I need to assign the hard disk to the logic volume uh, Linux. And then I need to convert the Linux uh, hard disk to logical volume manager. So guys, uh, uh, this is the process to add logical volume manager, logical volume manager uh, disk into linux centos server or line or red hat linux this is the same process in which we are going to follow linux or centos server guys thanks for watching have a nice